Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video, I just want to show you um, a nice little mod on how to change your weather backgrounds when um, in your weather application. So if I were to um, open up the weather application. Um, so New York, it is daytime, so all you get is the little sun picture and then you get a black background. And then for the night in like Beijing, it's night. So um, as you can see, it's like a little moon picture with the um, black background. So it's pretty boring. So I'll show you how to change that background. It's very easy. You're going to need to go onto your computer for this. And um, I'll take it to you by step by step. You want to go into Google Images, and that's images.google.com. And in the search query, you're going to type in iPod Touch Wallpapers. Even if you have the iPhone, um, you get more results when you click iPod Touch Wallpapers. Search that. And then you'll be taken to a list of images that are in the perfect size we need for the iPod Touch. Um, so you want to pick one of these and you will need two pictures. One for the background for your daytime and one for the background for your nighttime. So you can pick any one you want. Um, I like this one for my um, nighttime. So all you do to save a picture is click on it. Then over here you just want to click see full image. Then you... Um, alright, this one didn't come out properly, I think. Alright, yeah, this picture didn't come out properly. Um, some of them may not do that. But anyways, you click on a picture, so if we want this one, we click on the picture, then we click see full image, and then what we do is we right click, and you click save image as, um, in all the browsers, save image as, and you just save it to your desktop, right? Um, and then you need to get one for the daytime, so... You can go to um, different pages. By the way, that previous page will be the one in the video description, so you don't have to go into Google. I just took it to you step by step. You want to keep going until you see one for the daytime. I like this one for the daytime. So again, click on it. Click see full image. Right click. And save image as. All right? So once you have those two pictures saved to your desktop in the proper size, you'll be good to go. Now, if you have Photoshop or GIMP or you want a picture other than these two, then you need to resize them to 320 by 480 pixels. Again, 320 by 480. Um, it's easier just to get them from wallpapers or bootloggers or whatever. But if you want to resize them yourself, um, that will be in the video description. And once you have these two pictures, you need to rename them. Um, you want to re rename it to Weather, W-E-A-T-H-E-R, underscore d a y underscore b k g d again w e a t h e r underscore d a y underscore b k g d all this will be in the video description but the thing is the ipod touch only reads png files so here's an easy way to convert them to png file click right click and then you want to just click um rename and then the um only the file name is highlighted. You want to click for the extension, delete what's there, and click PNG. And then you want to click outside, and it'll pop up with this dialog asking us if we want to change it. Just click yes, and it'll be automatically renamed as a PNG file. Um, so the nighttime picture is going to be weather, W E A T H E R underscore N I G H T underscore BKGD. So again, W-E-A-T-H-E-R underscore N-I-G-H-T underscore BKGD dot PNG. I've already converted this as a PNG. And then once you have these those two files in the correct format and um, name, you want to create a folder that you can name whatever you want. I named it my weather theme. Double click inside there. And you want to create another folder um, exactly named like this. Capital B U N D L E S. Um, so capital B U N D L E S. That's bundles. Open that up. You want another folder, and it is called com c o m dot a p p l e dot weather w e a t h e e r. So again, com c o m dot apple a p p l e dot weather w e a t h e r. And then you want to drag and drop those two pictures that we renamed um, in the correct size and the correct format. We want to drag and drop those two pictures into, into com.apple.weather, not into that folder, but into com.apple.weather, not into bundles. And once we have it copied into com.apple.weather, 
we can X out and we need to SSH into our iPod Touch and um, whoops not this SSH so as you can see I'm already SSH'd in you will need Winterboard um, you can install that from Cydia we're gonna go back once and we need to scroll down Oops. scroll down to the third to last one and that is stash and we need to double click or we can alright so now we want to drag and drop my weather theme or whatever you named it into the themes folder so right into there and when we ask us to copy we're gonna click copy and it'll copy in no time at all two pictures and now we can exit out of here and we can go into winterboard and now we just check off my weather theme hit the back button now I know a lot of you have been asking me where you can get my video wallpaper the um, dancing iPod um, dancing iPod advertisement um, link will be in the video description on where you can download that from because I've been getting a lot of comments asking me for that wallpaper video wallpaper um, it's actually from modmyeye.com link will be in the video description all right, and now we're going to open up my weather application. And as you can see in New York, now we have that nice grass picture. It will keep the sun picture, that it will not change. But as you can see, it's the grass. And in Beijing, we have the picture that I wanted as well. Um, this may not have been a very good picture um, because you can't really see the numbers but if you um, like the weather's application and you use it a lot good application for you you can change the background um, a lot more refreshing pretty nice alright guys so please subscribe rate and comment and I will see you guys later